Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and you just listened to an 1894 Steinway A1. This piano measures six foot one inches from the very front to the very back. And like I said, it was built in 1894. Um, and so this piano also at that time, if you guys have been looking at pianos from that era, there were still pianos out that had 85 notes. This is an 88 note piano. We did not rebuild this piano. So we got it back, uh, we got it in. Somebody else had already rebuilt it. From my assessment, this is what it looks like happened. I think the soundboard was replaced probably about 50 years ago because the soundboard is in flawless condition. There was some kind of very hairline separation up in the high um, section in the back that I could only see from going underneath the piano that's already been filled. There is obviously so much crown and power in this board um, because you can just hear it as Giovanni plays. Even when he's playing soft, there's just so much power you can hear down there in the bass. So I think they replaced the board then. They also pulled the plate, and uh, uh, stripped and refinished the plate. They did a new pin block. They restrung the piano with all new strings. They did new damper felts and they did new damper heads. Um, and then they also refinished the piano. So when we got the piano in, we basically just rubbed the finish out, did all the nickel plating, and that was basically it. Um, until we got to the action, which did require some kind of extensive regulation. Uh, but now it is all ready for a new home. So let me go around to the front and I'll pull the action out and show you what we got going on inside. All right, so now that I got the action out, I can show you what's going on inside. The first thing you're going to notice is all brand new hammer shanks and flanges. So uh, I shouldn't have said brand new. These are probably about, I would guess, probably about 10 years old. But they did um, Auble Naturals, which is a really awesome decision. We normally do Renner Blue Points for the hammers, um, but Renner Naturals, or sorry, Auble Naturals are basically the main competitor of the Renner Blue Points, kind of like Chevy Ford. So you pick your poison. They're both super high-end German hammers. The Auble Naturals, I've had debates with people about them before. People love these hammers. They really make the piano kind of envelop out as opposed to just hit you in the face, kind of like that aggressive bite that we get a lot of times from Steinway hammers that are really, really lacquered. Um, so these ones are going to be a lot more kind of enveloping, like you just heard. It's a lot more of a sweeter sound, but when you really hit it, you got that power behind it. So they replaced all the hammer shanks and flanges. At some point, I would guess about 50 years ago when they did the soundboard, they also replaced all the whippings as well. Um, and those really are in great shape. We really don't need anything done to this piano, anything major done to this piano for at least probably another, I don't know, I'd say... 80 years, so this thing's been rebuilt very, very well. It looks like they did it in shifts. They did the first part about 50 years ago, and then they did these hammer shanks and flanges again about probably 10, 15 years ago. They also rebushed the key sticks and the balance rail and the front rail, and we did new key tops and refinished the sharps. So guys, if you have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.